Hi everyone, we are going to learn about the pharyngeal apparatus today and I am going to mix it up with basically a mnemonic so that you can remember and you don't forget it in like a day or something so yeah uh, there is a mnemonic for the pharyngeal apparatus which I got online and that is CAP and when you go from outside to inside that's what are the layers you encounter there is ectoderm which is basically the skin so you can remember that and then comes the mesoderm which is your blood vessels and everything else and then comes your endoderm which is your organs and stuff so when you go from outside to inside it goes as cap there's another way to remember this and that is c for cap is ecto and um well, uh, I didn't tell you what I was talking about when I meant the cap. The C uh, stands for cleft. So that's brinkle clefts uh, or pharyngeal clefts. A is for mesoderm, which A stands for arch. And the way you can remember this is um, M kind of looks like two A's joined together. So that's easy to remember. And um, P is for pouch. So if you remember these two i guess you can remember that pouch as well um yeah that's all hey everyone we're going to learn about brinkle arch derivatives today and i'm gonna couple it with the mnemonics so that you don't forget it again um well the first brinkle arch uh, gives rise to muscles of mastication, masseter, medial thoracoids, mandibulum, mandible malleus, meckles cartilage and mandibular ligament and everything from M basically. So you have to remember that first uh, brinkle arch is associated with the M and that's very easy to remember because when you um, you know make a mirror image of one it kind of looks like an M so that's very easy to remember that um, mandible and mastication and you know it's easy to remember anything that comes with M and um, these um, like suppose mu muscles of mastication are associated with chewing and you chew with your teeth right so uh, that that helps us the T helps us remember that it is with the um, the trigeminal nerve is the nerve for the first brachial arch. So remember, chewing with teeth is for trigeminal nerve. And the T also helps us remember the uh, abnormality associated with the first brachial arch. And that is the treacher colon syndrome in which there is um, an abnormality in development. So it causes uh, mandibular hypoplasia and there are a lot of facial anomalies uh, associated with treacher colon syndrome and um, next we're going to learn about the uh, second um, brinkle arch and um, if you look at two very closely it does look like an S a very twisted S um, so the second brinkle, um, brinkle arch gives rise to stuff with S so you can think of stapes or maybe uh, the styloid process or the stylohyoid muscle or um, anything with S and you know what you smile with an S and so that's how you remember that um, well smiling is with, done with the seventh cranial nerve which is the facial nerve so you can remember the nerve with the letter s which comes with two so that's pretty easy and oh yeah uh platysma also has an s so uh, not that important but yeah i thought it will help you memorize so yeah then comes the um third brachial arch and i kind of remembered with the rhyming words three and p um it's a very weird way to remember but that's how i remember that there is a stylopharyngeous muscle where it has a p and it is supplied by the uh, glossopharyngeal nerve which also has a p so uh, the 
that's about the third cranial nerve i mean uh, sorry the third brachial arch then um the fifth does not give rise to um, anything significant so we have uh, we're left with four and six and i kind of rem um, remember when you are small and you try to eat and then mom will be like you know first swallow your food and then speak don't talk and eat at the same time so that's how i remember that the fourth is swallow and the sixth is speak so the um fourth the cranial arch uh, fourth brachial arch I, i keep saying cranial i don't know i guess they're rhyming or something that's why uh, anyway the fourth pharyngeal arch gives rise to the pharyngeal constrictors like cricothyroid and all of that so it's anything associated with swallowing is with the fourth brachial arch so um the nerve associated with that is the superior laryngeal nerve which is then a branch of the 10th cranial nerve and the six is associated with speaking so you gonna think of all the intrinsic muscles of the larynx and the larynx has an x so you can remember the x for um the 10th cranial nerve so the pharynx which helps you remember this association um yeah so the pharynx um no the larynx is associated with speaking and if you want to be more specific it's the recurrent laryngeal nerve which is involved in the uh, speaking yeah that hello everyone uh, we are now going to learn about brachial um, pouch derivatives and it's very easy to remember that pouch kind of looks like something like that like a purse or something so all the organs will be from the pouch um the first brachial pouch gives rise to uh the ear and the ear kind of looks like it doesn't look like a pouch but you know um so you gonna remember middle ear cavity eustachian tube and the mastoid ear cells in your head is from the first brachial pouch the uh, second brachial pouch gives rise to your tonsils so after you come down from your ear you have another pouch like structure which is the tonsils and it's in your throat so it kind of falls in the order the third brachial pouch gives rise to the um thymus i don't know how to draw the thymus so i'm going to draw it like that and it also gives rise to the inferior parathyroid glands i know it's kind of confusing because superior comes first but in this case um i remember it as if, if you go alphabetically you get a b c d e f g h i i comes first and then comes s so you know what the fourth um brachial pouch gives the superior parathyroid and that's how i remember that and um there is um uh if if third and fourth brachial pouches don't develop properly it is associated with the george syndrome and um yeah i guess that's it about all of the brachial apparatus and i hope you had fun learning and um, stay awesome